Hey everybody, Stampin' Georgia here, Georgia Jaguar. I am excited to share something with you today that I gave a try to this week. It was a sad day for me, and maybe for you too, when the uh, assorted glimmer paper sold out for celebration. That came with the three beautiful colors. I had an idea in mind to use it for, and then it was gone. So I came up with a solution, and I'm going to share that with you today. This is the card that I was going to make, and it, I used some, you can see there's color on the Dazzling Diamonds glimmer paper that's behind the black outline of my dragonfly from the detailed dragonflies. I'm going to show you how I achieved that using my watercolor pencils. So come on, let's get started. So here's a closer look at that card again. And you can see I've used Dazzling Diamonds glimmer paper behind my um, dragonfly outline. And that happens to have some of that fun iridescent looking color and I used my watercolor pencils to do that. So how I achieved that first was I cut out the solid dragonfly using just the solid dragonfly framelit. And when you do that, you can just go ahead and save some paper by just putting your framelit right up to the edge like that and cut off the body because you don't need that. You're going to end up covering that up. And that way you can cut a lot more of them out of your Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer paper. Then to get the color on that, I used my Bermuda Bay watercolor pencil and just colored over Then you just take your aqua painter, just make sure there's plenty of water in it. And you could do this also with the um, ink refills. However, this is just handy and it goes really, really fast. And to me, it's just a little less messy because I don't even have to have a container to squeeze color into. And you just let it set dry for a few minutes. It doesn't take long at all. And you can do it darker if you wanted to go back in late with a little bit more color. You can just color over it with your watercolor pencil to add more color. I don't need to color the body because that's going to get cut off. In fact, I will take my paper snips and cut off some more of that. And then I'm just going to take the detail or the outline that goes along with that and I just added a little bit of the liquid glue to the body and in a few places on the wings. And really this is your best adhesive for getting it to stick to your Dazzling Diamonds because it's that rough surface and you can see I got a little bit too much glue. But what I love about this glue is you can erase it. And then just match up the head and the top half of that body and give it a little press on the wings. You can have your adhesive eraser handy because that is perfect for erasing any extra of the liquid glue. So that's, you've just completed the hardest part of your card today. The next part is simply cutting your cardstock. I've cut one the long way. This is four and a quarter by 11. And this is the thick Whisper White cardstock. When you do a long card like this, that's gonna open, fold at the top. Your scoring is at five and a half. I always score my thick white cardstock because you'll get a much cleaner fold when you go to fold it. Here's the same card. This was actually the first one that I designed. And you notice I hadn't thought of coloring my rhinestones at that point. And this one um, is cut five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, so that you have a clean fold when you fold it. And after I had done this one, I actually liked it 
turn better this direction. One of the people at my class, at Bunko class, did their card and turned it this direction, and I actually liked the layout better. And then I thought of coloring my rhinestones. I've taken the just our basic rhinestones and used a Sharpie marker. You can get these in so many different colors now. They're a permanent marker. And just colored one of each size of the rhinestones and applied those after I glued down my dragonfly. I used the liquid glue, the same glue that I glued my two parts to my dragonfly together with. I used those to glue my dragonfly to my card. And the Just For You is stamped from the watercolor words. Um, I think this card could be used for just about anything. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll give this fun technique a try.